Hello, friends. This is another episode of Clark Smith Adventures. I am on 83 North, headed to Pennsylvania. <clears throat> How's everyone doing today? I am fabulous. It's a beautiful day. Even though it's cold. It is cold. It's chilly. But. I'm literally only like. Let me see. How many miles have I gone yet? Nine and a half. So I'm literally only like three some miles from the Pennsylvania line. I have to go to Pennsylvania because I bought a Pennsylvania scratch off and I actually won something and I don't know what the last, the next time I'll be in PA. So, you know, figure put Raven in the car and right Raven say hello to my sidekick. She's in the backseat pouting. <clears throat> so I got into a debate, not a debate. I shouldn't say a debate with my husband. Um, about pit bulls. Someone who has worked with animals for so long, you know, he says he will never own a pit bull. For someone who has worked with animals for so long, I can testify, even though I have been physically attacked by a pit bull one time, bit the shit out of me my leg, tore my pants off, <laughs> literally, that dog was my aunt's dog, <laughs> I don't know what that dog's issue was for that day, but would you put in the comments, would you ever own a pit bull, would you ever not own a pit bull, and what is the reason, my husband claims that he does not just does not trust them. I would trust a pit bull working in the animal industry. I would trust a pit bull a hell of a lot faster than I would trust a let's say Shih Tzu. A hell of a lot faster would I trust a pit bull than let's say a Shiba Inu or a some chihuahuas will bite the living hell out of you. Cocker spaniels bite the living hell out of you. So, I mean, yeah, I would trust a pit bull way more. His issue is when he was a child, his uncle, who was like a drug dealer, who has passed away, had a drug house somewhere like Frederick or York PA or somewhere and um, had a stash house stash house had a stash house and um, his uncle told him he's a little kid and his uncle said whatever you do don't do not open that backyard door and go outside because he had a bunch of like pit bulls back, you know, or Rottweilers, whatever, big dogs, big mean dogs. So what did he do? He opened the door like any child would and almost got attacked, I guess. He said as soon as he opened that door, all he saw was a mouth with teeth coming at him. So that kind of traumatized him um, early on in life about dogs, which is a shame, you know. I've worked in animal control. I've worked in veterinary offices. I love the breed. I mean, I, I love the breed. I'm a terrier girl. I like terriers. 
I like all kinds of terriers. My favorite is the Boston Terrier, which people say, oh, that's not really a real terrier. But it is. It's part of the terrier. Is it part of the terrier group? I think it is. But um, I love terriers. I love terriers. And, um, you know, they are my favorite. Right now, we have a Chihuahua Dachshund. A Chihuahua. She's 14. My dream dog is to get a Boston Terrier. But if a pit bull came along, you know, and it needed a home and it was a sweet dog, I would have absolutely no problem taking in that dog. So, yeah. What are you guys' thoughts on that? I'm just curious. You know, what is everyone's thoughts on that? Comment in the comment section. But I'm going to PA because it's really not that far from where I live. Um, do I like the state of Pennsylvania? Oh, sorry, the Commonwealth? Up uh, now. I'm not a big fan of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. I just, I'm just not, never have been. To me, it's too far north. You know, I promised myself I would never live above the Mason-Dixon line. I have lived in Pennsylvania before. I mean, and it wasn't really that bad, but it's just not my cup of tea. It's not really, you know, where I want to be. It's pretty, but as of right now, we are still in Maryland, as you can tell by the flag you just saw on the sign. So, what the hell is all this? Would you own a pit bull? It's gonna bite your face. I don't know. Pit bulls were considered nanny dogs. You know, they are the ultimate nanny dog. So, I would definitely have one. My husband, adamant, adamant, does not ever, ever, ever want a pit bull. Ever. Doesn't even want a pit bull mix, he said. So, I don't know. Crazy. Crazy. Now, when I get to Pennsylvania, I don't even know where the hell I'm going to go. Don't know. <clears throat> I have to find a gas station or sheets or something so I can cash in these tickets, man. sir. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to uh, put it out there. You know what I mean? Y'all can comment. Oh, look, this is pretty. Hereford. We're near Hereford. Mount Carmel Road. Carmel Road. 
Well, y'all, I am going to go. I hope everyone has a wonderful Sunday afternoon. And love you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Mwah. Goodbye.